Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas and I am filming my second thrift store haul in a row. I just filmed a savers haul. So if you like thrift videos and you haven't checked that one out yet, make sure you go check that out. But this is going to be a compilation of the hospital thrift store and the church barn and house. So let me show you what I got. It's a lot. And this is multiple, multiple trips because I haven't had time to film. So here we are with all of it. Let's jump in. All right, the first two things I got from there, uh, from this is from the house portion of the church thrift store, 1975 and 1973. Oh my goodness these little this is a little cruel kit cruel i don't know how to say it um and this is a floss stitch and they include the pine frames those were a dollar each and then i picked up this little bird for a dollar this little and i need to check it out because it is signed it says Terra Studios 2015 DD. And unfortunately, somebody peeled the sticker off and then they wrote a dollar right on there. So I have to take that sticker off. But no chips or cracks and it's signed. So that's never a bad thing. Now these I took a risk on. I wasn't able to check sold comps because the lady had to show them to me and I didn't want to like be obnoxious. So I had to take a risk. I think they were... I think they were th three and four dollars like these were three one of them was four dollars but anyway this is a monet so i figured it was pretty safe this pin or brooch um this one has something i need to look with my loop uh oh it's coro okay i thought it started with an a it looks weird on there but this is a coro brooch and then this one I believe is also Coro yeah this is also Coro she charged me four for that because she liked it honestly she said it reminded her of something else so that was probably not a great deal but whatever at least they're signed that's usually the most important part I mean you know named so all right then I got this vase for two dollars it is a I'm assuming a studio yeah i don't know it looks like a studio art piece pottery piece but uh i just thought it was kind of cool so i got that for two dollars then i got this for me and it was five <laughs> but i'm like whatever it's juicy couture it's an extra large and it is this black velour <laughs> little sweat jacket i know i know then I got these two. These are brand new. These are 2021 Pokemon train on, I guess, little uh, card holders. But what I couldn't understand about it, because I don't know anything about this. I just know that Pokemon is hot again due to a YouTuber. Um, they're like full page sheets, though. So I don't I don't understand that. I would have thought it was for cards, but what do I know? Anyway, a lot those together. I don't know how much she may have charged me $2 each for those. I hope not. But. And then we got this 1975 Needle Magic, a mini Cruel, 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 I don't know, um, by Needle Magic, a Jebba design. Amazing. Luckily, those prices come off with some alcohol. Oh, I got this for Little Man. I forgot to give it to him. 2018 Shiling. This little pinball machine. It's fun. I got these. This little vintage buttons. They look so old. There's no year, but... I wonder what she charged me for that. I have no idea. When they like bundle stuff together, I get so confused. I don't, I don't know. They don't tell me anything. 
Uh, I got this for Little Man for $3. Um, it was $6.99 normally, which is awesome. Little Man was sick at one point and he had to go to the walk-in clinic and my mom was with us. So there was a stride right next door. Story time with the only. There was a stride right next door while we were waiting for them to call us in because we had to wait outside. And somehow stride right was like selling some toys and it was $12.99 for like this exact same thing and she bought it for him because she felt bad for him because he was sick so even at $6.99 that was good I think that's like a Burlington price tag but for three that was awesome and it's brand new then they had these for two for a dollar it said that it was a bookmark with timer so I thought that was cool for little man. And apparently it's also a picture frame. Wow, this thing's got everything. I don't know. <laughs> little picture frame. And then it's supposed to be a timer and a bookmark. So I thought that was cool because you can like time, time is reading, you know. Like make them read for X amount of time. So I got those and I figured at 50 cents, like if they need batteries, it's still a good deal. And again, I have no idea how much the books are. Um, I picked this up and I'm thinking he actually might have it. I don't know. I see Dr. Seuss and I get silly sometimes. The Shape of Me and other stories. Other stuff. Uh, uh, I feel like he has that. I still have yet to make that list to keep on my phone. And then I saw these and I'm always drawn. I didn't even have time to check them, but they looked old and I just grabbed them. So now let's find out together. Snow White. 1973 Sleeping Beauty nineteen seventy four and Dumbo nineteen seventy eight. So I got those three for little man. All right, we're still in the house portion. So there was this gorgeous bag. I'm pretty sure it's new because it's made in China. La Regal, La Regal, handmade in China. And this was only a dollar. So I think even though it's probably new, it's still amazing for a dollar. Look at all that beading. And the beading is intact. There's no snapped stitches or anything. Then I got these for little man's lunches. It's these uh, stand zipper bags. And what was his name? I want to say Kirby. Was that his name? I don't even know. But anyway, these little, yeah, Kirby. Hmm, Nintendo. So you get four of them in there. Little stand up zipper bags. I thought that would be cute. And they were a dollar. And for resale, we have this. Lavender Swirl Handmade Glass Perfume Bottle, 6.75 inches. So it does have a label on there. Look how gorgeous that is. Look how gorgeous that is. I love this. And uh, they charged me four for that. But I figured between the two of these, it worked out to be fine. And then there's this iridescent, super duper thin with the 22 karat gold painted gilding on there and look at this thing and it's still intact can you stand it three dollars so seven for the both of those and those are for resale also uh for resale this is the first pair of shoes i've ever purchased for resale and i don't plan on making a habit of it but it just seemed pretty cool um because i was drawn to them and then they happen to be my size too but i'm like no no <laughs> so these are uh bobs from sketchers memory foam one of them still has the shaper in there and they are these beautiful little dog ones. Looks like a golden retriever. So size 10, brand new with tags um, and they were $8 and these sell for about 30. So they will be listed as well. All right, now we are in the hospital thrift store just for this bag, it'll, it'll switch back. But oh, before we jump into that, you guys wanna see one thing I picked up off of a Facebook marketplace deal that I went and picked up for $2. This is for resale too. Look at this. This is Japan. This is like 50s or 60s. Look at this. 
It's a it's a citrus reamer. Isn't that crazy? Two dollars. So yes, I picked that up for listing as well. When I went and picked it up, I said, "Are you sure? Two dollars? It's, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy." Congrats. All right. Then I got this for little man. I have no idea. I think she charged me a dollar. It's a little Star Wars magnetic scene thing. He'll love it. It's like color forms, but better. Then I picked this up for myself. Um, even though they marked it as the kids department and kids was half off that day. Kids and plus size was half off that day. So it's a, it's a, it's a two XL. It's a size 19. It says perfect timing. So it was $5 half off. So two fifty for me for, you know what? And then I picked this up. I thought I would take a shot at this for resale. So this was, um, they marked this as plus size. Uh, I want to say this was 250 as well. Yeah, I think it was 250. Do you guys remember? Wait, oh no, hold on. There's a the price. Yeah, $5, but she charged me half. Do you remember these? It's made in Mexico. Do you got, oh my gosh. I remember these from high school from like the nineties, like all like the hacky sack people <laughs> used to wear them. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh my gosh, for the nostalgic purposes, like I'm going to try to resell that. I don't know. And another thing I picked up for resale, just, just because this was $7 half off three fifty. It is, I don't know. The size has like worn off, but it, I mean, it looks, let me see. Hmm. No, it doesn't say. So it's made in Korea. Um, the little hanger loop has torn, but that is it. Made in Korea. Look at this windbreaker jacket. I can't even see B Thermotech. Total throwback, total throwback. I, oh my gosh. So again, for the sake of vintage, I was like, let me try that different type of vintage but you know what i mean now we're moving back to the church and we're going to the barn portion so again i blame josh harry tornado so i found this it definitely needs some cleaning but it is a new era made in the usa fitted it says official on field cap seven and three eighths yankee fitted so with some cleaning and that was $2. And then I actually got these for Brett and I keep forgetting to show him. Um, these are like absolutely brand new. They are cloud, cloud Steppers by Clark's Men's Slippers. They were $2 also. This is from the barn. This was $2. It is uh, another same color that uh, Paprika. This is a Tupperware uh, marinating container it's a nice big one it just needs some cleaning that stuff scrapes right off something crusty salt I don't know but it does it scrapes right off and they're famous three for a dollar DVDs I got little man Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory the original I got myself the lost boys because you got to have that um, they had Rugrats in Paris the full-length movie gremlins uh, I thought he would enjoy this Disney's spooky buddies and I got sex in the city the movie because I have the essentials actually listed on eBay I had purchased them a while back um, actually from Dollar Tree so I'm doing like all four of those and then this I put in the listing will actually be a free gift for whoever orders that and then I have six of these these are, I believe, Neiman Marcus. I think it's Neiman Marcus. Um, this is Rocco Bertoli. These uh, Limoncino two-ounce aperitif glasses. So I did get six of those. And they are, um, all the glassware there is two for a dollar. So I got, for three dollars, I got this set as well. And... There's gonna be more of these, I believe. There's at least two of them, I don't know. But this is McCoy. These are little McCoy brown drip glaze uh, soup terrines. 
like chili crop. There's another bag from the barn. <laughs> oh yes, I got this too. I wanted to list this as well. This is so cool. I paid 50 cents for this. Um, there's no year, but it's definitely vintage and it's Easter Unlimited ink. And it's actually a little like egg viewfinder. It's the coolest thing. It's got these little vintagey pictures in there. And then you push the chimney. Is it the chimney? No, what do you push? You push something. I did it at the store. What do you push? Oh, on the bottom. You push the thing on the bottom and the picture changes. And it is so cool. I wish you guys could see it. Um, all right, so there's that. Okay, and here I have a Friends Central Perk mug, and that was 50 cents. And I got this little set. I thought it was very cute. It's a 1991 five, five and Dime Ink Korea. Um, but I did not notice at the store, but there's a tiny little bit of paint loss right there unfortunately but it's these boots and saddle salt and pepper shakers and i don't know how much they charged me for that i was still shopping and he started like bagging up my stuff and keeping a running total unfortunately so i have no idea i got this i kind of got it for brett <laughs> it's a 2011 marvel uh ralph marlin spider-man tie i thought it was so cute <laughs> And the lady that was ringing me up that day, anything I brought to her was $2. So some things that was good for, some things that was too high for. And then I got this Starbucks uh, Been There series, uh, 2018. And this happens to be Phoenix. So that was 50 cents also. Well, there's going to be another one of those McCoy Crocs somewhere. I think that box was from the same day over there. So we'll continue on in a minute. Um, but these are Hull, and I got two of them, and these are little covered, little covered Crocs, so there will be a set of two of those. They were $2 each, and I found that box, so here is the other one, the McCoy. So the, the next, the next thing from the barn, I actually got, um, it was all five for $5 and there are four of the, um, 322 Pyrex in the purple. There's four of those. So I'll probably sell them in sets of two. And then there was one clear one thrown in, which actually works out well because the clear one I had in another set that I'll probably put up for sale um, ended up being chipped and I didn't see it. So I'll replace it with that and that. So a dollar each on those. Now, this next item requires a story. So they had, okay, let me show you. They had these four cobalt blue glass plates along with salad plates and uh, what appeared to be saucers and these cups now and it was ten dollars for the set so i asked them i uh i said is there any way that you would just you would break that up and just sell the uh the hazel atlas uh, modern tone the depression glass because that doesn't go so the woman had a little bit of an attitude with me and then she like sees it and then she's telling the guy, she's like, she's right though, actually, she's right. I'm like, I know I'm right. Like, I'm not blind. It doesn't go, right? So she's like, all right, how about six for that? And I'm like, that's fine. So I, we separate it, we bring it up. And then I notice that like one of the plates is chipped, one of the saucers is chipped, one of, I, one of the cups is chipped, I don't even know. And then I was like, can I be a pain in the butt and put it back? She's like, no, you're fine. Put it back yourself though. I'm like, I will. And then the guy that was standing behind her, he's like, just take it. I'm like, what? He's like, just take it. Because if it's chipped, there's not, nothing I can do with it anyway. So the reason why I wanted these is because if you watched the haul from my vacation with Little Man, I got the creamer and sugar of this. And I wanted to at least put the cups like with it, maybe, even though the creamer and sugar is posted, it is listed um, on eBay. But I was going to like build it, you know, and, and make it more substantial 
but now my plan is like all messed up and I don't know and I have to look through it because I think there was only one saucer it turns out and the other ones were like little salad plate I don't know I don't know it's a mess but um my total came to like $33 and I had 35 in my wallet and I'm like take the 35 at least take something for the blue stuff um so I don't know but I have these and I'll probably list these I don't know but my, my plan got messed up anyway <laughs> I got strong-armed into taking them but yes all right we have that let's continue this is more stuff from the barn on a different day and the guy I can't stand wasn't there. It was fantastic. It was such a pleasurable experience. But anyway, I saw this um, behind the register and I just had to have it for, for me. <laughs> so little Velma, I love her. So they gave me that for a dollar. Little man and Brett are playing. So he's got a lot of energy right now. So if you hear like screaming and craziness, that's, you'll know what it is. And then I got this Donkey Kong. They charged me $2 for him. This is $19.99 Nintendo. And he's got the two buttons on the back. So. I don't. Uh, one is like stuck. Eh. If it's stuck, then I'll probably have to keep him. Yeah. One arm is stuck. So I'll keep that for me. And another friend's Central Park Monk on a different day, 50 cents. And I thought this was fantastic and I thought maybe somebody else will too. 1992 Dakin, Dakin, I don't even know how to say that. Ren and Stimpy, but it is um, a Christmas one. And it says, happy, happy, joy, joy. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, on the tree. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 92. And then they had this little weed whimsy. I think he gave it to me for free. So I got that. I'm kind of like collecting weed whimsies all together and I'll probably end up selling a lot. That's really the only way it, I feel like, I don't know, well, I'll decide. Then I saw this little cup, again, 50 cents. It says ABC there. And then it says Tom Tom the Piper's son and it's Woods, England. And I looked those up and they sell between 12 and $14. So for 50 cents, that was a good buy. And then we have four, I won't pull them all out, but four, this one happens to be dirty. <laughs> the other ones are not. This is a Homer, Homer Lachlan restaurant wear. And it's got the, it's called uh, Athena Gold, I believe. And it's got the Greek key on it. So I got a set of four of those for $2. And I got this one, 2014. So it's not vintage, but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I thought that was good for 50 cents. And then I picked this up for us. I'll give it to Brett to try out um, rain tight outdoor timer. I was thinking this might be really good for our Christmas lights. And for $2, if that works, that's awesome. I haven't shown this to him yet, but I thought it was good. We don't have one of those. We're caught up on the past trips. I'm gonna show you what I got today and then call it a video. Let me show you another thing actually that I picked up for free on a Facebook marketplace thing, free. And I told her, I said, are you sure? This glass display case with these beautiful elephant feet and it's Bombay, 2004. Is that crazy? It's crazy, okay. Now, today's barn and house, okay. The first thing I picked up from the barn today was this, and it's $2, and it is, it's vintage, if you couldn't tell. 2002 though, like, just turned vintage. It is a spin shade, so it's a nightlight with spinning shades, a shade for every season. And it was only $2, and I, I looked it up while I was there and sold comps. There's, well, I, Actually, I don't know if there was any sold. I just looked at, I don't know. I can't remember. No, I think there was sold. Anyway, we're talking like, well, there's one listed right now for $32.99. And then I think the sold comps were like high 20s. I was like, what? <laughs> I just had a feeling about it. 
and there we go two dollars then i got this for two dollars as well um looks like somebody signed it 98 i this looks like one of those i don't know is it like uh a national chain but like ppp plaster paris palace or whatever it's called um it's an elf and i don't know if i'm gonna keep him for myself or sell him but i love him so i might have to keep him for myself then they had a porch sale so uh men's clothing and women's clothing they had outside in the separate locations were two dollars a piece so i got this michael kors sweater for my stepfather for two dollars it's just a nice blue sweater and then i got this same color this nordica quarter zip light sweater for brett and i got this for myself for two dollars um it i don't you think it's it might be i think it's handmade it, there's no tags and it looks like the shoulder pads were hand sewn on there i don't know but i got this for myself the buttons are kind of outdated but i thought this was really really sweet two dollars if that is handmade that didn't cover the yarn that's makes me a little sad and they had a whole bunch of boots outside for $3. And I got myself these. <laughs> these pink galoshes. And they, they fit me. So it's amazing. So these were $3. And they're brand new. And then I got this paperweight. For $2. The last paperweight I sold, I sold for $19 plus shipping. And then I took a chance on this. Um, from what I could see with the naked eye, the chain is silver. Uh, I believe it does say 925 Italy on the chain. So for $4, I feel, I feel like that was, that covered it. But then there's this, and I don't believe this is uh, silver at all. I think this is just some type of, I don't know, shiny base metal but it has like geode in it though like this blue glittery geode and that's the the raw back side of the geode so i thought that um on the actual 925 chain for four dollars was worth it and then i got these two pairs of vintage clip-on earrings this is like coral and pearl they are stamped japan and this one is stamped japan as well this one is like shell leaves with some like speckled stone in the middle but both stamped japan and these were a dollar each and this unfortunately is um the plastic is tearing <clears throat> but this is brand new and it was two dollars and i don't see a year on it but it is clearly 70s and it is hook hook a rug 20 by 27 and it's in the horse pattern so that's everything there then the barn had four for a dollar stuff outside on a table glassware it's normally two for a dollar but they had some out four for a dollar so i picked up a few things so for 25 cents, I got this Club Daisy, Disney MGM Studios 1987 Disney Made in Japan mug. And then these, so they only had, and I didn't like Google image this yet, but I don't know. I don't know if it's anything. Although I have lucked out with some crazy crate and barrel glasses there before, which I sold for $200, I kid you not. Anyway, um, they had three of these, which is a weird number to begin with. But then I was looking at it and one of them had like a ding on it. So I was like, okay, now we have two. So I got two of these hand blown blue glasses, 25 cents each. 
and I got four of these. These little glass, either like teacups or espresso cups, whatever you want, with their little metal removable handles. So four of those for a dollar. All right, guys, sorry to so abruptly end this video, but we're moving inside so I can show you the last thing I got from the barn. It's this very large framed cruel cruel that that type of thing again this does come from a kit from the 70s i do know that it's very prairie chic of that time a couple of spots and stuff on it but i picked it up for five dollars and i think that was an amazing price so that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you enjoy these types of videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a permanent part of the thrifty divas family because we would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you.